Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. And, uh, I mean, we still have this, too, which is interesting. Like, this wasn't used up when we, you know, used it. It, uh, stuck around. So that kind of implies that, uh, it's still, uh, potentially useful for something. I'm not, uh, entirely sure how we'd, uh, activate more from it, though. I'm gonna walk instead of fast travel, make sure I didn't, uh, miss anywhere I want to go here. Right, we had this still here. Right. Almost forgot about the mysterious room with just a flashing X on the floor and no other apparent reason or purpose to it. You know, easy thing to forget about, I guess. I even thought to myself, I guess I should write this room down to remind myself to come back here, but like, how am I gonna forget a room that's just empty with a freaking X on it? But, uh... I, I did. I did, it turns out. This time, for sure, though. There's not a lot of reason to go to the factory, is there? I mean, I could poke people with lenses and see if they have anything to say. It seems kind of unlikely that they would, though. Random sight. I mean, sadly, there's no about light reflection and stuff, right? Hook me up with some, uh, some sick information. A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. I can't really think of anyone I've talked to that would specifically be... Lens relevant. Oh! Right, I can talk to her again. Right, because she said, Are you here for your photos? Yes. Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah, I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Twinge and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out the people with expired IDs. Like me. So it is the street vendors. I was like, I think there were four street vendors, right? And they're they're gonna like give me one of those word logic problems or something, probably. Used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Uh, oh, uh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that, I mean the concave lens did. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... Concave... Uh, betwixt... Thick and thin. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while! I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see! When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. So, concave's not directly between them, then. Thin between two curved. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Uh, then... 
Okay. Then turn. Then complex. Uh, a keys? Ouch, my eyes. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? All right, photo plus glue. Back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. The card has my face on it now. Kip's library card. <laughs> nice. When can I fix the camera? Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, that's all she has to say about that. It's fair. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Wonder if we could, uh, like, sleep again. It's been a while. Might be just, like, we could probably sleep again immediately after we do what we do here. Hmm. Walk back and try to sleep now. All right. Well, we'll do it after. It probably has to be a different bed anyway. Looks like an old phone. It's full. A small tree. Dice face, apparently. A lot of characters in this game. So, someone here to see the brilliant George, huh? Cut wind of my genius and couldn't help come see for yourself, huh? Um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? Winking like her with the uh, die eye there. Actually, I, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go into the tower. Ah, but of course I can help. For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go to the tower. That's what I said. But how exactly? Through the tower entrance room. Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient, forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not! If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in a long dead language, then know that I, George, I'm fluent in several dead languages. I've got a book for you. I've got a book for you. Let me get it a word edgewise. I want to show you this book. I... I see. Uh, uh, we do. We can talk. Here. Oh. I do have this book, though. I... I think it's written in some sort of... words I don't recognize. Aha! An ancient book, written by no less than the most ancient... Wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all, but it's written in a dead language nevertheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. 
I see. Ah, uh, excuse me. Oh, what's this? You are sleepy? A little? Fear not, because I have read a book on hospitality before, and thus have prepared for this exact situation. The guest rooms in the attic and down the hall. These boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. Oh, I see you are curious about my job. My very, very important job. You see, the author has entrusted me with his, with his, with his, all his ideas. <laughs> editing pass, uh, a, a final editing pass would, would, would help this game. That's, uh, I think the third one we've uh, hit so far, right? That's right. The author sends his manuscripts directly to me. I'm in charge of publishing all his books that everyone loves. Wow. Although, he hasn't been sending me anything as of late. I wonder, I wonder. Perhaps he decided that since I work so hard, I deserve a break. As brilliant as I am, I still can't keep up with him. Even after he stops sending me things, I still can't catch up. Of course, I have published book after book after book, but the box of manuscripts just seems to be growing on its own. Interesting. I simply must finish all the manuscripts in that box by the end of the week. There are literally people lining up to read his works, you know. They all have me to thank, of course. Oh? What does he write about? What doesn't he write about? He cranks out those scripts at the speed of light. Which is... 299,792,458 meters per second, by the way. Brilliant minds gotta stick together, huh? A small bed. I, I guess she lives here. The computer screen says something about updated databases. Yes, even someone as great as I must put the proper thought and care into a task like this. Excuse me. Uh, again. Go take a nap, small child. Take a nap and appreciate my hospitality. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall, in case you forgot. Looks like a printer. So that's for all the boxes, okay? There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and this other book has a clover on its spine. A and the rest of these books, too. Are they all about clovers? A black clover is the mark of the author, of course. Oh? Since he never entrusted me or anyone else with his name, we identify his works by the mark. So he wrote all of these books? I told you he was a genius. And by extension, me. Thanks to my superb organizational skills, I've kept a copy of every single one of the author's books in the archival room. Feel free to pursue the mass sea of knowledge that I helped contribute. Bridges full of bottled water and takeout boxes. What's uh, this? Thing? The book is poking out from the shelf. <clears throat> A 
Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window, and, that's th and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Forgettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Oh, regrettably, that makes more sense. I was like, forgettably, that doesn't make sense. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Uh, Rochus was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later, and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him, as I did his father. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, Zapper. Author is just a, uh, printer connected to the internet. I don't know if Calamus mentioned his uh, dad's name was Ratchus before. Uh, for anyone who, I guess, missed the first stream or part of it or whatever, uh, Calamus and uh, his sister were two kids we met in the, uh, the Glen, the area before this. of some sort. Nine ten forty five twenty two. We're writing that down. Twenty two. Wednesday. Another still life of some of my objects on my desk. <laughs> Just glass of water and uh, cap and book. Huh? Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. Run one of the events at the uh, Barrens. And uh, probably one of those jars with the hangers we saw around here that the uh, top had broken off, I suppose. I mean, I guess we'll... We, <laughs> I didn't even see the other number when we started writing down the first one, but we'll uh, put a dash 23 as an option there, too. Sure. I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient, and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. <laughs> blue, green, red this time. Instead of red, green, blue. Box full of notebooks. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. <laughs> Designed uh, the prototype for Profit Bot, huh? Compatible with longer clothing. <laughs> hey, Music Dan! Well, the sun's dead, which is part of their lighting problem, you know. Even the painting is books. Seems about right. What's right here? Oh, there. 
Even though that box is on top of the... <laughs> that's... That's... <laughs> that's, um... All right, we got we got some non-Euclidean hitboxing here. It's okay. Don't uh, don't worry about it too much, I guess. <laughs> Looks like a scanner. It's a stack of blank papers. More boxes full of manuscripts. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, I felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Page six and seven, even. Uh, I assume two four one's not going to be terribly uh, relevant there, but we'll uh, we'll write it down as well. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? All right, so we're back to uh, another dream. She ate all ten pancakes. So many pancakes. She's very happy about it too. Out of the corner, that kind of looks like a bubble, like the, um... Uh... I still have a note on it, probably. The, uh, blue phosphor. The rare blue phosphor. I guess you saw my dream. It was... Come on, uh, uh, let's go. What if it's actually possible to regress without sleeping here or not? Does it seem like you need to sleep and then talk to her and she might have more info on that book? Yes. Alright, <laughs> gotta get back to this voice again. I have done it. I have finished the daunting task of translating this journal. Oh, that was fast. But of course, I am the speediest translator in recent history. Anyway, I made you a line-by-line -line transcript. It looks like this journal might be meant for twins. Oh? Here, take a look yourself. Well, I mean, it is addressed to me, apparently. Greetings, Twinch. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. Yeah. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. Okay. The entity that's been half helping us, half mocking us. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Interesting. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Twinge, on the other hand. 
Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you will need to bring it back. Okay, we're writing stuff down. <laughs> uh, pattern floor. Hmm. Window gone. But there, that's the last of it. The rest of the pages are torn out. You didn't do this, did you? No. A shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. I kind of assumed it was a literal window, but maybe not. Oh, well. I guess Twinge will have to figure out that one. Right. Uh, by the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Aha! That is a question George can answer. It means you need items containing yellow phosphor, the rarest of the phosphors. Set to absorb sunlight for the longest time and never fade out. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. But alas, you are missing the third, no? Fear not, for George, collector of rare artifacts, will assist you. Here. Hmm. Oh, it looks... like you? Yes! Now you'll never forget my face. The face of knowledge. Ah, thank you. Good luck on your journey, small child. George shall bid you farewell now. <laughs> Just the fact it's, it's George specifically amuses me. George is getting upset! <sighs> Die with glowing dots. Oh, do you need George to tell you what to do again? Yes, please. It's a small room at the base of the tower. With those three items in hand, you must stand in the room and Twinge will do something about floor patterns and windows. Windows. The window's gone. Okay. <laughs> already, already, uh, thinking, thinking ahead here a little bit. Good luck on your journey, small child. And, uh, none of these computers are suddenly on, right? Cause it's been a while since, um, I guess we could say the, uh, the entity now has, uh, contacted us. Okay, um, go to the room with the, uh, X now, I suppose. Curious. I, tr I you had so many chances to get food. So many chances to get food. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a possibility, Silver Star. It's definitely a possibility. That window is still open, by the way. It's still, uh, still chilling right over here. Hey, Twinch. Do you remember where the cafe is? Uh... Yeah. It was wherever we went first. All the way down the hall. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Oh. Wait, I think I remember. It's up the elevator, and then we take a right and go down some stairs. It's a right. A right? But it was a left. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. 
Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Music Dad. It's like, when she said it's to the right, especially, I'm like, so, uh, so yellow tiles will shock you then? <laughs> or... So, is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. Yeah, we'll, we'll be nice. Like, we, we can actually progress, but I think. I think we can progress. Because we know the pattern of the floor, and we need to figure out where the window's gone, which we might know already. So... But, uh... The elevator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. She said take a right. Oh, and then go down, and then you go left. There, maybe. Well, this isn't right, is it? Because we went here later. This isn't where the cafe was, I didn't think. No, this is totally the cafe. I was thinking of the other cafe, which uh, wasn't really a cafe. That was the library that had a, um, a, like, kitchen attached for no apparent reason. That's why it seemed wrong. I remembered the directions to the wrong place. I guess it's a good thing I asked uh, Nico then. <laughs> Let's see, what was uh, her voice? Oh, uh, hey, you're back. Uh, did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Twinge and I went to the surface already, and... Well, I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. But wait, I, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, no, it's it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes. Pancakes are so good! Thank you so much! No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, it, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them into the batter. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely, or... Mama. I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I... Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I, I just want to see my mama again. Uh, oh. Uh, they're there. It, it's gonna be okay. And... I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah. But... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Maybe? <laughs> right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I... I'll, I'll be fine. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Hang in there. 
You can do it. Thanks. Hello. It's too many things that are possessed in this game, man. Alright, so they don't care about the die. Yeah, none of this seems to be affected otherwise. I still like all the hair from the scissors, that was pretty uh, unexplained. We don't have anything from like Glyn. Well, I mean, the feather was from Glyn. We didn't actually try showing that to this guy, did we? No, okay. That doesn't really seem to be. Yeah, this is the place I was thinking of because I remembered the coffee cup and I remembered the kitchen and I linked that to a cafe. Just a weird pile of hair that had scissors next to it. For some reason. I'm mildly sad we couldn't like play a game with the dice with the uh the games robot. Oh, she actually does say something different because it is later. Ha. It's very late, but Good day, I suppose. Okay. So the window is gone, you say. But we gotta get the pattern on the floor first. So let's uh, get to that room and then. Take a take a look and see what uh, what things might be happening here. Let's see. Is there anything else uh, that was like modified in the game files? Not directly. No. Okay. And this file's still the same. This has uh, been unchanged. What if we just hit X? Capital X on that screen while uh, we're here. Right, let's uh, close that and reopen it. The window was gone and uh, needed to be replaced, was the phrasing. So, do we close the game here? Let's, uh, let's, let's try that. Aha! Still looks like we're not doing anything with this. This, uh, this might be an extra thing. It's, it's like a 40 meg file that just does this. It's the most suspicious of all. Alright, well, I guess we can uh, probably switch back over here. Let me set my windows back up there. Okay. 